Hey guys, my name is George. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Vikora for like a damaging spell that has a cooldown. In my case, it's gonna be for Whirlwind. Uh, you can see it here. It's not usable, so it's desaturated. And when it's usable, it's glowing. And uh, when it's on cooldown, it's slowly backing up back to being visible uh, until it's glowing again because it's usable again. So if it's something you might be interested in, keep watching and I'm gonna show you how to make the Vikora for it. To make this Vikora, click New Aura. We're gonna be choosing Icon. Uh, I'm gonna name it Vervint YouTube. In Triggers, uh, we're gonna be changing the type to Spell. I'm gonna say it's gonna be for Whirlwind in the spell name. You should see like the Whirlwind icon. Currently it's on cooldown at the bottom, so we're gonna duplicate this trigger. And in the second trigger, we're gonna change it instead of on cooldown, not on cooldown. At the top, it's currently all triggers, so we're gonna change it to any trigger. And uh, we can go back to conditions. First of all, I'm gonna drag it somewhere where we can see it. In conditions, I'm gonna add condition. If trigger two spell is usable, is equal to true. I'm going to say glow uh, visibility and check. Next condition is going to be the same. If trigger to spell usable is false this time around, spell usable is false. I'm going to say change the alpha to 20. Uh, this might be depending on you. You can make a different number here. And I'm going to add a second property. I'm going to say desaturate as well. Next we're gonna add another condition. This time around we're gonna be asking if the trigger 1 is active equals true. We're gonna say alpha 20% as well. Currently the Vikora has the wrong colored glow and also if you use it uh, it's not getting back to like 100% visibility. So let's change that. Uh, first off, uh, if you want to change the color of the glow, you can go to display settings. Under the glow option, there's like a little cog and you can choose custom color and pick whatever glow color you want. I want something similar to the Whirlwind color, so white-ish blue. Uh, for the backing up back to 100% visibility, we need to add more conditions. Uh, this one is going to be add condition and if trigger one remaining duration is less than 5 seconds, change the alpha to 50%. Now we're gonna duplicate this uh, condition and we're just gonna change from 5 seconds to 4 seconds and we're gonna change it to 60%. Next step <laughs> we're gonna do the same, we're gonna duplicate this one, change it to 3 seconds and instead of 60 it's gonna be 70 and so on and so on. So next one is going to be duplicate. It's going to be two seconds. Instead of 70, it's going to be 80%. And once more, duplicate less than one second and change it to 90%. So it's not going to be 100%, but uh, if you want, you can change these numbers. But this is what I use. If I use it, it's 20%. When it's 50%, it's going to start ramping with the visibility. Uh, until it's almost fully visible and we can use it again. Currently the Vikara is visible uh, in all stances, in battle stance, defensive stance, in Zerker stance. Uh, my own Vikara is not visible in the other ones. Uh, for example in defensive stance uh, I have in its place something different. So if you want to also have it only visible in the Berserker stance, because Vervent is only usable in Zerker stance, uh, you're gonna have to add a third trigger. In this case, it's not gonna be aura, it's gonna be player unit info. Instead of HP, it's gonna be stance, form aura, and we're gonna choose form to be berserker stance. Uh, also, we're gonna have to change from any trigger to custom function here, and you can paste the same code as I have. I'm gonna put it in description below. And also, uh, you're going to change dynamic information to be, let's say, from trigger 1. It doesn't matter. Uh, it, it can't be from trigger 3. And this way, uh, if I actually switch to
to different stands, uh, it's gonna disappear because it's not gonna be visible. So yeah, this is gonna be everything from this video. If you enjoyed it or if it was helpful, you can press like button or even the subscribe button. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.